Today's answer is Anthony Rose. Now, across the world, everybody is stuck inside. So one Crazy. thing that's being asked of us a lot through email, through private messages, is what can we be doing during this period of time to keep progressing forward? So we're gonna give you guys some practice drills, some things that you guys could be working on at home with or without a partner. All right, guys, one thing that we can promise you, if you're gonna do country dancing, you're going to be turning and spinning a lot, okay? So that's one thing we both, as leaders and followers, need to be able to do. So in this video, we're gonna cover some things that you can be working on at home by yourself or with a partner to make those turns better, okay? Now, if you guys are new to this channel, down here, you're gonna notice this button and it says, subscribe, and if you hammer on that button, then you become a next dancer, and then you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens here on the channel. All right, guys, two-step is an interesting dance to try to practice by yourself, okay? Because, you know, it's a partner a dance. Space. You've got to have a lot of space, like, you know, so unless you've just happened to have a great big dance hall built into the back of your house, cool. you know, there's certain things that we've got to kind of condense when practicing in a small space, okay? So the good news is, is the stuff we're going to work on today is if you've just got a hallway or even a moderately decent sized living room, then you can practice this at home, okay? So a lot of people, and including us, we teach the basic step of two-step as quick, quick, slow, slow. And that's what we all know as the basic step. But we can walk four steps to two rhythms all day long. It's not really gonna make our dancing much better, okay? So what do we practice? How do we make, so one thing about two-step is that two-step is very spinny, twisty, turny, but how do you practice the turns, okay? We can show you footwork, we can show you a bunch of different stuff, but here's really, really what we suggest practicing more than anything else for followers. Followers, you're gonna do one of two things about 90% of the time. You're gonna be turning to the left, or you're gonna be turning to the right, okay? Oh, do that. Sometimes you quick, quick, slow, slow in a straight line, but once you get to a certain point, you're gonna be turning more than you're walking. Here's what we practice. I'll show you what this looks like with a partner and then we'll show you how to practice this on your own. So if we did our basic, what you should be practicing is turn to the left and turn to the right. You can practice that over and over and over. I mean, you could start at one side of the hallway, do that this way, turn around and just go back. We saw a video People the other day. People are doing day. crazier things in their home right now. <laughs> yeah, we saw a dude the other day, I think it was in France, who ran a full marathon. marathon on the balcony of his apartment yeah. by running back and forth. So <laughs> you could probably do that with a two-step basic step, okay? Yeah. so. Here's the thing, two-step is based around left and right turns, okay? So, but what you should be practicing is, and here's the key, practice turning one and a half times to the left and then one and a half turn, times to the right. So if you watch Rose do that again, now she's facing this direction because she's uh, facing down the line of dance. She's facing forward, so she'll turn one and a half turns to the left and now she's facing backwards. Now she's turning one and a half times to the right. One and a half times, and one and a half times. So one and a half times is the magical Default. number. That is your assumed degree of turn. Do you always turn one and a half? No, sometimes you only turn one. Sometimes you turn a half, sometimes you turn 47 and a half, but most of the time, if you watch pretty much all the patterns in two-step, they're based around turn one and a half, and then one and a half, okay? So let's show you this footwork that you've got to do. All right, followers, we're gonna start turning to the left one and a half times. We're gonna turn half, 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 back with the left foot, all right? So if you start facing forward, you're gonna end facing backwards. Now the other way, turning to the right, we're gonna turn half, 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 and step forwards. All right, guys, if you really watch two-step, this is all that's happening. You're either just quick, quick, slow, slow in a straight line, you're turning one and a half to the left, or you're turning one and a half to the right. It looks like a bunch of stuff, but it's really just those three things, and that's why this is the drill you should practice. So let us demonstrate that to you and show you how that works. All right, to show you what this looks like with a partner, if we did quick, quick, slow, slow, now she's doing that same thing that she did in that drill just a second ago. She's facing forward, she turns one and a half to the left, now she's facing backwards, now she turns one and a half to the right and she's facing forward. Now, from beyond this point, this is essentially what's gonna happen no matter how beginner or advanced the stuff is, so that's why it's important to practice. Let me show you what this looks like with different variations, okay? So now she's doing quick, quick, slow, slow in a straight line. She's now gonna turn one and a half to the right and she's facing forward. She turns the left one and a half to the right. Now she's facing forward. Now she's facing back. 
Now she's facing forward. <laughs> now she's facing back. It's just the same stuff over and over. So really, if you practice anything, yes. this is what you should it. practice, this one and a half to the left and right, because ladies, that's what you're gonna be doing most of the time. So let's break this down a little bit further and give you some more tips on how to practice that. All right, guys, when you guys are practicing this, here's some stuff to keep in mind. This is what I want you to picture in your mind. So this is our line of dance, or this is the direction that we're moving, okay? I want you to picture that there are footprints in a line. Like if I walked through the room and made a footprint in a line, just a row of footprints, when you turn for these turns, you want the feet to fit in those footprints without making any new ones. So every step is progressively in that direction. So if you watch Rose and I do this, if she's forward on her left foot, every step she takes is gonna continually move in that direction. So half, 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 step, half, 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 step. Every step continues to move in that direction, okay? So you gotta keep your body moving and what happens is you have a half of a rotation in between each step, okay? now. I get it, you guys are watching, you think like, this is a lot of spinning and turning and I get dizzy. But here's the so awesome thing, you got two things going for you right now. Number one, just the nature of two-step, because it turns to the left and then to the right, it's kind of like winding and unwinding, okay? Yes. Now, if you just kept turning in the same direction, you're probably gonna get drunk pretty quick <laughs> without any alcohol. But the thing is, is because you're winding and unwinding, you're not gonna get as dizzy right. if you were. But in order to not get dizzy, you gotta do a lot of turns and stuff. And now this is something you can practice, get over that because to not get dizzy, to work on your turns, you just have to Turn do it a, a lot, okay? It's like lifting weights. Like you're not gonna learn about lifting weights and then bench press 800 pounds. Like you gotta start somewhere and build your way up. You know, not getting dizzy and turning is kind of like that. You just gotta repeat and repeat, repeat, repeat. What? All right, so what we want to really focus on is that your steps and your rotations are separate from each other. You're going to step and then you're going to turn and then you're going to step and then you're going to turn. They are separate. They happen in that order. You're not going to see it, but that's how you should practice it. Yeah, it's step, turn, step, turn. It's not stern, okay? They don't all <laughs> fit together. So if you watch what happens here, she takes the step, which is a weight change. She's on that foot. Then she turns and then she steps as a separate piece. So she has stepped, she's going to turn, and then she's gonna step, and then she's gonna turn, and then she's gonna step. Now, as you watch that in slow motion, it's a little bit easier to understand. But so as you practice this, you really gotta not turn and step at the same time. But here's the thing, if she is facing forward, just know if she's facing that wall, like if you're standing at the end of your hallway, you got your bedroom door at the end, you're looking at that, just know when you finish the first turn, you're gonna be facing back to your living room or whatever's at the opposite end of that hallway, okay? So she's facing forward, and she step, turn, step, turn, step, turn, and she's gonna go one and a half, and then she just takes a step, okay? So you got four steps. That is still quick, quick, slow, slow, yeah. right? So now she's facing backwards. She's still moving that direction, facing towards the living room. She needs to turn the opposite way to face forward towards the bedroom. That's assuming your house is set up all like ours. So it is one and a half step, okay? So you have four steps, but only three of them have rotations between them. All right guys, when you guys first start doing this, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose balance. I hope you don't fall down or hurt yourself or whatever, but Please. you're probably gonna have problems with the balance. So we need to kind of break down what balance, really like what it means, like what is the main idea of balance and what should we be focusing on to keep it? All right guys, the basic idea of balance is just keeping your body vertical over top of your feet. I mean, gravity pulls you down that way. You got your head, your shoulders, your hips. Everything has to be vertically positioned right over top. So you have these blocks of weight, okay? So if you can stand on one foot, that requires you to have balance. So if I stood on one foot, everything has to be vertical. Now, if I do this, I start to fall, okay? So the same thing as you hear dance teachers talk all the time, not, look, not to look down, you know, keep your body positioned straight. Because if I look down, not only do I look like I have no idea what I'm doing, but in addition to that, it pulls all of that weight forward. So the first step really is just to stand on one foot. Now, once you can stand on one foot, assume you can do that, don't pass that up. You can stand on one foot, you're not gonna turn, okay? Like that's just not gonna happen. But if you're standing on one foot, all I want you to do is to get that weight on that foot. Followers, you can start with your left, right, what you know, leaders with your right, whatever. But you're on that foot, and I just want you to stay on that foot and start rotating around it. Right? So right now I'm turning a quarter of a turn with each rotation. You want to take that and then progress that into half turns. Once you can do that in half, you need to be able to go all the way around still staying on that foot because that's what's going to happen when you're turning. You're just staying on that foot, rotating around it, and then you take the next step. Let me show you that. 
All right, so if you watch this together, now right now she is on her left foot. So she's gonna turn around that left foot while keeping her blocks of weight over top of it, and then she takes a step. So she's on that left foot, she's going to turn and then take the step. Now that she's on that opposite foot, she's gonna turn another half around that foot and then take the step. She turns around that foot, then she takes the step and takes another step, okay? So these are separate pieces that have to happen in that order. We don't just blow through that because what happens is if your upper body is here and your lower body's here, they have to stay directly over top. If your upper body keeps going, guess what happens? If your feet are back here, you start to fall. Everything's gotta be vertical. Yep. So as you practice that, practice it in like pieces and sections. It is step, turn, step, turn. So she has done step, turn, step, turn, step, turn, step, step, okay? So that's really what we want here is that your steps and your rotations are opposite of each other. Guys, before we move on, I, we just wanna make one thing clear. We're not teaching this from a place of it's correct or proper or the right way to do it. We really don't care about that. Yeah. What we care about is what works, okay? Not everybody wants to be a competitive dancer. Not everybody wants to be super fancy guy on the dance floor. People care about this though. They don't wanna fall down. They don't want to look silly. They want to keep their balance. Dizzy. They want to be a good partner, that sort of thing. So that's the place we're coming from. This stuff will make your dancing look and feel better and more comfortable, more confident, okay. and much more balanced, okay? So let me show you one more thing we've got to keep in mind here. All right, guys, when dancing two-step or any dance, your legs can work in one of two ways. They can work like scissors or they can work like pliers. I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but let me show you how this works. If your legs are working like scissors, they go forward and back. So we're taking steps forward and back this way. This is like a pair of scissors. A pair of pliers is where they go side to side this way. You will seldom, if ever in two-step, ever have your legs working like pliers. They always go forward and back. Let me show you a close-up of how that works. So when we do this turn, our legs are only going to move this way. We're never gonna be in a position where they're side to side. So if you watch this turn, my legs stay steady and turn together. Now, once I've transferred my weight, they're both gonna turn at the same time. I'm gonna step again. I'm gonna turn both legs at a time and then the feet simply pass through. Here's a mistake that people make that you wanna watch out for. They'll get into this scissored position but as they're turning, they place the foot too early, but so by the time the foot comes down, it gets into this position and they try to swivel out. There's never gonna be a moment where your feet are in this position through that turn. So what we want is we want both legs rotating together at the same time, almost like they're locked in place. We don't wanna move the foot to this position and then try to finish the turn. All right, I know you leaders think you're safe right now. We're only talking about the followers, but you should be doing this too. There are a lot of patterns when Put the, the leaders have to- down, get off the couch. Tiger the King followers. is not that good of a show, guys. Stop it, all right? So, but there's a lot of patterns in two-step that we would dance where we would both be turning. So now we're both turning and then we're turning again. So leaders, like you've got to do this thing too. The difference between a leader doing this and a follower doing this is the leaders are just going to be on the opposite foot. So when she did this, she started with her left foot forward. Uh, follow, uh, leaders, you got to start that with your right foot forward, just turn the opposite direction. But it's the same drill. It's the yeah. same idea. You should both be practicing this, okay? So if you watch this again, she's stepping forward with her left foot. She's gonna turn, she's gonna keep her feet locked in that position. Remember, scissors, not pliers. And she keeps her feet moving in that direction, footprints in a line. She's facing forward, she turns one and a half, and she ends up taking one more step, and she's facing backwards. Then she turns the other way. Now she's facing back forward again. And oh my goodness, she turns one more time. And then, oh, look at me, I'm turning two in this step, okay? so. Leaders, followers, this is definitely something that you should be working on. You've got the time now, all this stuff. You be a superstar. That you didn't have time to do house. right now, you got the time. Make the most of it. What are you doing with this period of time? I, guys, I know we're all in this thing together. We're all locked down, we're all in our homes. This is something you can practice, obviously, without a partner. This is something you can be doing because this thing will end at some point. And where are you going to be? Like, are you going to be an awesome dancer? Are you going to come out of this quarantine? It's like, oh my gosh, oh, like, like a butterfly coming out of its cocoon or whatever it is. So take this time, make the most of it. If there's anything that we can help you guys with, are there any video content? Is there something that we can produce here on our channel? Let us know. We want to hear from you guys. So comment down below, guys, what you would like to see. What could we help you guys with? So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.